Hello class. So today we are uh, working in chapter 2, section 8, solving inequalities in one variable. So one variable means we only have one variable, uh, be it an x, uh, that's normally what we'll choose, but it could be a y or a z or a t, um, as long as there's just one variable. And um, inequalities means not equal. So not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, um, but we're just not doing ones that are flat out equal. Um, and we're gonna use a couple of creative ways to, uh, to solve these um, inequalities. So um, we're gonna do this uh, section through examples only. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna um, find, um, where a polynomial is um, positive zero, zero, positive or negative. And I'm going to set them up um, so they're pretty easy to read. So I'll say like f of x um, is equal to x minus 2 times uh, x plus 3 squared. Um, so uh, this is in a, a nice factored form. Um, obviously, you won't always get problems that are in this nice form, and um, you just use algebra to get it into this form. Um, but uh, the first trick we're going to use is to use the number line. And um, I, I like putting 0 on all of my number lines, but then an important piece of uh, data here is when x equals 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So, so 2 is an important number, so I want to put 2 on the number line. Um, negative 3 plus 3 is also a, a 0, so that's also a fairly important number. And space these correctly. Uh, the, the 2, you know, you're, I'm making it about 2 units away. The 3 is about 3 units away. I might even be able to move it over a little bit more. It is a sketch, but don't... Don't totally uh, ignore um, the spacing here. So we want to find out um, when this is 0, and it's 0 at point 3. So uh, 0 um, at negative 3 and 2. Now, to find when this is negative, um, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in a number that is uh, less than negative 3. And you, you can pick a number that's way less um, negative a thousand. A negative a thousand minus two is, is a negative number, so we're going to say our first piece, and we don't care what that negative number is, but it's going to be a negative number. And then negative a thousand plus three, that's such a larger negative than a positive, it's going to be times another negative number squared. Um, and a negative times a negative squared. Now a negative squared is a positive, and a negative times a positive means over here, we are going to have a negative answer. Um, then from 3 to 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 0, because 0 is a, an easy one. I get a negative number to start over here. 0 minus 2 is a negative number. And then I get a positive number squared. And so a, a positive squared is a positive, and a negative times a positive is also a negative number. And then um, finally, I'm going to do a, a large number. A thousand. A thousand minus two is still going to be a positive number. And I don't care what the number is. Um, I'm just looking for the signs because we're just looking whether it's positive or negative. And then a thousand plus three is also a positive, um, and that's a positive squared. A positive times a positive squared is a positive. So um, we can say um, f of x is less than zero. Um, when, uh, when we are, um, from negative infinity all the way to 2. And that's non-inclusive, um, because at 2 we're equal to 0. And I'm saying when is our function less than 0? It's less than 0 from negative infinity all the way up to 2. Now when is f of x greater than 0? Well, um, it's greater than zero over here, so it's greater than zero from two um, all the way up to infinity, going up forever. 
Um, so there's our uh, answer. Um, zero at, I'll put zero at negative three and two. So our answers are down here, um, less than, greater than, and our zeros. Um, and uh, so this is a, uh, an example using a number line. for inequalities. Um, and uh, let's let's do it an, another another one. Um, we're going to use the same exact method, um, and we'll just uh, play with things. So um, we're going we're going to actually do one where we have a variable in the denominator, which means we'll have an undefined point. So let's say f of x is equal to x minus 4, x plus 2, over x minus 1. Um, and you can put the parentheses or not. Uh, it's nice to have the parentheses. Um, actually, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's work with this one. So um, we're going to find the zeros. Um, when it's positive, when it's negative, and a new one when it's undefined. Okay, so the zeros are um, when this is zero, four minus four, so x, um, and uh, negative two plus two is, a, is another zero. Um, undefined at, um, and then uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, and you can't divide by a 0, so, um, so there's our uh, undefined point. And then to find the positive and negative, we'll go back to the number line, and I'm going to uh, write down all of these numbers on the number line. Um, so uh, start with our 0. And then 1, 4, negative 2. So these are the important points. So if I'm going to put a, a hugely negative number, so this is going to be a negative, because right, a, ne a huge negative minus another negative is negative. This is going to be a negative, because a huge negative plus 2 is still going to be a negative. Um, and then a huge negative minus another negative is also going to be a negative. A negative times a negative is a negative, is a positive, sorry. And a positive divided by a negative is our answer is going to be negative um, for less than 2. Now from 2 to 1, I'm going to put zeros in. And you get a, a negative 4, a positive 2, over a negative 1. Negative divided by times a positive is a negative, and a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So in here we're a positive. Um, let's put in... Uh, the number 2 over here. So 2 minus 4 is a negative. 2 plus 2 is a positive. 2 minus 1 is a positive. So positive, um, a negative times a positive is a positive, uh, sorry, is a negative divided by a positive. So the answer in here is negative. And then I'm going to put in a huge number, 1,000. 1,000 is um, positive positive, and a thousand minus one is a positive, so this is positive. So um, positive, for our, uh, we can say f of x is greater than zero um, from negative two all the way up to one. And uh, from 4 to infinity, it's negative. I don't really need to write negative. This is um, f of x is less than 0 um, from negative infinity all the way up to negative 2. Um, it's also negative from 1 to 4. 
And these are all non-inclusive because at these points, they're either zero or undefined. Um, and uh, that, that's our answer. Um, and we are uh, just using the number line to speed things up. So um, finding positives and negatives using a, num a number line. Now what we're going to do, we're going to uh, use another method. Um, it's nice to know several methods just because um, then you have several uh, options on how to solve things. So I'm going to say like x cubed minus 3x squared um, minus 2 is less than or equal to 4x. Um, and we're going to uh, solve Uh, the equation graphically. Um, and this is graphically is never a way you should have to rely on. You should be able to do everything by hand. Um, but it is a way you should be able to uh, work through an equation because um, in the real world you will have uh, technology available to you. So if I subtract 4x from both sides, um, there's no like terms, so it's just going to kind of fit in right there. Um, so I had to have x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x minus 2 is less than or equal to 0. Um, and so uh, to solve it graphically, now graphically is also, um, you're going to get some estimates sometimes. Um, oops, x cubed. Um, minus 3x squared minus 4x minus 2. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is um, it is a power function of 3, so it is going to look like a cubic function, which this does. So we know it's not going to do anything over here because um, we have the maximum number of minimum and maximums um, on the screen. So we can zoom in here a little bit. And uh, we see that it actually doesn't touch here. It only actually crosses at one point. Um, anyway, it crosses the x-axis at one point, and that's 4.096. All of this um, is less than zero. The, the y's are all less than zero. So, um, so the solution is just f of, uh, not f of x. Um, the solution is from negative infinity all the way up to that 4.096. And um, we're asking when it's less than or equal to, so we are going to cap it off with a equal to sign. Um, inequalities by graphing. And um, what you should do is, for your notes, you should actually sketch this real quick. Um, it can be uh, quick like this, and it just up, down, up. Um, and this point is um, 4.096, 0. Um, just so you have what was on your technology. You can even say from... Uh, Desmos, or whatever uh, technology you're using. And um, it really is a, a very simple way to um, find solutions. Uh, let's do uh, one more, and then uh, and we'll call it a day. Um, So the last one we're going to do is we're going to put one in with a, with a radical, with a square root sign. So um, I'm going to say like x plus 1 times the square root of x plus 4, okay? Um, and that has to, we'll say, less than or equal to 0. Um, and 
very often with inequalities, you do want to move everything over. We're just going to start this way so we can uh, fixate on this side. So um, here, anytime we have a negative number, we're going to have a uh, um, an undefined piece. So we can say undefined. So anytime this, so anytime x plus 4 is less than 0 or x is less than negative 4, it's going to be undefined. So it's undefined from negative infinity all the way up to negative 4. Um, and uh, that we can pretty much do without the, um, the number line. Uh, we're going to use the number line for the rest of the, the trick. Uh, x is 0 at um, x equals negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Um, and uh, so we're going to now, let's draw the number line. Um, our, the pieces that I want to like, focus on is negative 4, negative 1, um, we'll put the 0 spot in. But uh, okay, so all of these were undefined. So we can just mark that so we know to, that that's taken care of. Now, let's put in like a negative 3. So a negative 3 would make this negative, and negative 3 plus 4 is a positive. A negative times a positive is a negative, so in here it's negative. Um, and then if we uh, put in a, a large number, like 7,000, this would obviously be positive and positive. So positive and positive gives us a positive. Okay, so... Um, we can say uh, our solution is um, when are we less than zero? The solution would be from uh, negative four to negative one is our solution set. Um, uh, sorry, when is it less than or equal to zero? So it's equal to zero here. Um, it's also equal to zero here. So these are actually, let me uh, rewrite that all together. Um, I almost forgot the, so it's negative four to negative one, inclusive, not exclusive. So there's our, our, our true answer. Um, inequality. And uh, I just have, I just want to show what, what this might look like on the graph, um, just to see for consistency sake. If you look at it on a graph, x plus 1, um, square root of x plus 4. And uh, we see at negative 4, it stops existing. That's good. From negative 4 to negative 1, it's less than 0. Good. And uh, from negative 1 forward, it's, it's, it's positive. And we wanted to find out when it was less than 0. So this graph actually checks out. And it's kind of funny because the graph looks like a check. But uh, it checks out, and it's consistent with our, um, our uh, non-graphical uh, work. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in class.